when we met with the vendors, the top two priorities for them were to have a physical space, to have a marketplace, and to have financial support for the vendors at the time that a transition happens from the current market to a new market. But what we've done since then is we have worked with the city to allow a new urban market to be established in the two plazas that are planned for the new development at the BART station. So there's five acres of plazas. The second thing is that the flea market owners, uh, working with council member Cohen, have offered to provide $2 million of guaranteed financial support during the transition. And in addition to the $2 million, we're offering $500,000 matching grant for any community fundraising that happens to support the vendors. We will match dollar for dollar up to a half a million dollars. We've been uh, continuing our advocacy here at the flea market, trying to organize and inform all the vendors. You know, that's the main purpose that uh, we started this organization to inform uh, vendors of the decisions that are being made at the city level that are going to impact our lives and our businesses. We've grown to over 130 members so far. Uh, of course, we want to be representative of all the vendors, so we're going to continue doing that outreach. So far, or when we first started, didn't include the flea market. Now, you know, through our advocacy and through raising our voices and um, we're being heard, we're moving mountains. So that's, that's definitely progress there. But there are still a lot of questions left to be answered on that. Uh, so that's why we are pushing for a 90-day deferral on the vote so that now that we are being brought to the negotiation tables, now that we are being considered, you know, we can't possibly do the work of um, that hadn't been done in almost 15 years in two weeks. If we do divide that two million up between all the vendors here, which is roughly 450 to 500 vendors, that's only 4,000 approximately per vendor. Um, at least speaking for myself, that would afford us maybe a month and a half of rent here that we pay. We are pushing for at least anywhere between a three to five year notice uh, before any type of development starts here. And just because one year is just not sufficient. I mean, one year to try and move, as you can see behind me, a whole business, a whole livelihood, you know, that's not fair enough for us. Um, and we believe, honestly, in three to five years, if we, if we secure that and we're not ready, then that's on, our, that's on us.